Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Code with Sunny and today I am going to talk about the problem increasing substring of uh, the very first problem of kickstart round B2021. Okay, so let's first discuss this problem and find out the best solution of this problem. Okay, so basically a definition of a string is given to us of length L uh, which consists of only uppercase English characters and it is said to be strictly increasing only and only if for every pair of indices i and j such that j is going to be strictly greater than i and i and j satisfy the bounds of this given string now the character at position i is going to be smaller than the character at position j then only we can say that uh, our string uh, let's say c is going to be strictly increasing that is for every pair of i and j if the ascii code at the ASCII code of the character at uh, index J should be strictly greater than ASCII code of the character at index I for every pair of I and J such that J should be greater than I. Okay, then only string C is going to be uh, strictly increasing. Okay, now we have been given a st string S of length N and we have to find out for every position of I starting from 1 and ending at N what is the length of the longest increasing note that the term is strictly increasing okay that is the you can say the st string is said to be strictly increasing if uh, for every pair of index i and j such that j is going to be strictly greater than i then the ascii code of the character at index j should be strictly greater than ascii code of the character at index i okay now for every position of uh, you can say for every index i for a given string s of length n we have to find what is the length of longest strictly increasing substring that ends at the position i okay now the two main terms that should be focused is longest strictly increasing substring and that is going to be ended at position i that is at index i what is the length of the longest strictly increasing substring that is going to end at my current index okay we need to find it out for every index i and we need to print it uh, the value for every index i as the output of this problem okay so let's find it out the constraints i'm going to talk about the constraints of that is test set 2 that is n is going to vary up to 2 into 10 power 5 okay we have been given the string s n is going to be like 2 into 10 to power 5 and uh, that is the maximum length of the string that can go okay so let's move further to discuss the problem and find out the uh, best solution of this problem with the help of example by analyzing this problem okay so let's move further okay so the very first approach to solve this problem is uh, it should be like o of n square approach uh, which would all obviously give uh, uh, you can say accepted verdict for test set 1 because you can see in case of test set 1 n is going to be like up to 100 so o of n square solution will always pass and if you talk about test set 2 n is going to vary up to 2 into 10 power 5 so the solution will give a tle verdict in that case in that case okay so let's talk about uh, test set 1 how we can get an accepted verdict for only test set 1 that is you can see we have to find it out the longest uh, substring longest increasing strictly increasing substring index ending at index i okay now index i can vary up to this one and up to this n so we should uh, take the substring starting from this index i and let's say we are going to end at this index okay now the string would be like a b a and it should be like c and d okay now we are going to talk about this so index uh, that is index uh, having the character d okay now we should iterate for the entire string so i should vary up to 1 to n and we have a o of n solution uh, we have o of n uh, like n iterations okay now for every iteration for i we should take out the substring starting from 0 to this uh, current index okay and if you take out the substring we need to find out the answer of this current string okay uh, what is the length of the longest strictly increasing substring index ending at index this one that is the character d you can see uh, you, the string should be long, uh, strictly increasing okay so in other words if we move from the back side of the string it should be like strictly decreasing so you can see c is going to be strictly less than d yes it is okay now what about a is going to be strictly less than c yes it is okay now you can see b is going to be strictly greater than a so my uh, iteration is going to stop here 
that is my you can say the longest strictly increasing substring for my this index that is index at the character d should be like of length 3 and it the string corresponding to that would be a c and d okay so my answer would be 3 for this case you can see the case where the ending index corresponds to, uh, to this character d okay so my answer would be this now we are going to just do this for every index i from 1 to n and the complexity of this approach would be o of n square because for every index i we need to take the substring starting with this uh, index 0 up to my current index so it would take up o of n square time okay but this solution will not pass the test set to work that is it will give a TLE verdict for the test set 2 because n is going to vary up to 2 into 10 power 5 for test set 2 okay so let's talk about some better solution o of n solution for this problem okay okay so i'm talking about now o of n solution of this problem that is we need to find what is the longest strictly increasing substring ending at a particular index okay so let us iterate from the beginning of the string and let us find it out what is the longest increasing substring strictly increasing substring in, uh, substring ending at my current index okay now you can see this is the very beginning character of my string so answer at this the position will always be one and what is the that is i am moving to the next character this character okay so let me first erase this one it is going to be like confusing okay so my i am at this character now let me check if this character is going to be like uh, strictly greater than the previous character yes it is going to be strictly greater than the previous character okay it means that uh, my answer to this position should be incremented by one corresponding to the previous position that is if previous position has answer let's say a then my current answer would be like a plus one because the previous character has ascii code is going to be strictly less than the my current character ascii code that is you can say b is going to be strictly greater than this a so my answer would be incremented by one to the value the, uh, corresponding to the previous one that is uh, a plus one that is one plus one it is going to be like two okay so let me make changes to this value okay so here it should become one and here should become two because b is going to be greater than a okay and let's talk about this character you can see now this character is going to be strictly less than the previous character but we are talking about strictly increasing okay so uh, whenever we found a character whose uh, ascii code is going to be less than or equal to the previous character my answer becomes one that is uh, my answer is starting from this index would be would become one or you can say the ending at my current index this one okay so if we also uh, check it out you can cross check like if we have a string like a b a then what is the longest strictly increasing substring ending at this index you can see it will corresponding to only this character one and my answer is also coming this one okay because b is going to be strictly greater than a so this uh, this answer will not be that is one is not going to be added to the previous answers okay now let's talk about this character you can see c is going to be strictly greater than a so my answer would be incremented by one corresponding to the previous character previous answer that is one plus one it would become two and again we, if we talk about this character c d is going to be strictly greater than c so my answer would be incremented by one again corresponding to the previous one that is two plus one three because it is going to be uh, greater than the previous character so if you have been asked what is the longest increasing strictly increasing uh, substring ending at my index d you should answer three as our answer because you can see starting with the index a that is starting with the character a it so it, it goes up to this d and the longest uh, strictly increasing substring ending at index d is now three okay so we are just incrementing our answers with respect to the previous one by checking the characters of the previous characters that is ascii code of the previous characters we are just comparing if it is going to be strictly greater thus increment my answer by one uh, with the help of previous answers okay now let's talk about this a you can see a is going to be strictly uh, you can see a if uh, a is going to be less than or equal to the ascii code value of the previous character that is yes it is true uh, that is d is going to be strictly greater than a so my answer would always become one okay so if suppose uh, we have after d let's say we have a character like uh, d then f okay so if we have a character like d and f then my answer up to this one is three and then my answer up to f would become four because uh, f is going to be greater than d in terms of ascii code values okay and what about my answer when d and it should be like a you can say 
my ascii code values decreases after d so my answer becomes one ending at this one okay so longest increasing substring strictly increasing substring ending at this a character would be one okay so this is my basic approach okay so let's talk about how we are going to implement this whole scenario in the coding part okay so let's move further okay so you can see i have taken the n that is the length of the string and the string s and we need to find what is the longest increasing substring ending at every index i okay now answer vector you can see is going to store the answer for every index i and single character uh, single character that is for every index i has always answer equal to 1 because it is always going to be included in the longest increasing substring okay so let me first write it down the time complexity of this entire code okay so my time complexity would be would be like uh, o of n simply and uh, where n is the length of the string and if you talk about the space complexity you can directly print it or you can store it so it will like o of 1 okay it depends on how you are going to implement that okay so you can see for every index i starting with this n i am going to check if my current character ascii code value is going to be like a strictly greater than the previous character ascii code value my answer should be just incremented by one to uh, corresponding to the previous answer that is one plus answer of i minus one otherwise you can see if this condition is going to fail my answer of i will become one always which is already declared to my answer uh, vector okay for every index i okay now finally i am going to print this answer okay so let's uh, copy this code and let's just try to submit this code okay and check it out if this is going to be an efficient solution or not okay so let us have the pending judgment okay so i hope to this will give a correct answer okay so it's taking time no problem okay yes uh, i think this should give us okay it's taking time again and again yes it is good so okay so if you have any doubts do let me know in the comment section of the video and i will ask the viewers to like this video share this video and do subscribe to our youtube channel for latest updates thank you for watching this video